Yo, what are people saying? I'm back, another video, bruv. Another prediction video. Man's going to be doing this while on OBS, bruv. Well, I'll load on my TM maker, bruv. You man already know, bruv, what it is. So, yeah, man. Um, need one predictions. Man needs to release and upload my need two predictions. So, yeah, man. Um, yeah, um, going to be really an interesting one whenever I think about it. But yeah, I made some good calls, made some shocking ones, such as brought something in the league, bruv. Like, flipping hell, man. Why did I say that, bruv? Why the flip did I say that? And then I realised that flipping Kenny Jacket, bruv, was was flipping, taking a nosedive with this club, bruv. Flipping nosedives, bruv, out here, fam. But yeah, um, but yeah, man, um, we're going to get straight into this um, video as well, bruv. Man's got um the teams right now loaded from Accrington Stanley, bruv, all the way to um flipping Wickham Wanderers, bruv. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. Now um, Accrington, yeah, you see Accrington, yeah, they, them man, there, yeah. Listen, the these two teams, yeah, I keep telling everybody at our Accrington Stanley and Wimbledon, bruv. Listen, them man, there are going to to be tough teams bruv and to me they are very tough teams Accrington are very smart in their recruitment bruv buying players from non-league and making them perform in this league bruv madness listen yeah like their 11th place finish was absolutely very good like I can't lie bruv very good bruv this day was in play of contention bruv for most of the campaign so I have to put some respect on these men there listen John Coleman yeah ever since he got from Accrington promoter yeah man's been doing a little ting bruv with them man there I can't lie bruv I can't lie bruv they have been in Proving every year. Listen, it's gonna be a tough task to actually keep Accrington at the top of a uh, in, in the top half. But listen, yeah, um listen, a solid season overall, and that's very good as well. We could definitely um do that as well. Definitely as well. Um so um yeah, um alright, cool, cool. Um, and we've got AFC Wimbledon, bruv. Listen, listen, I know it's going to be a bit mad putting these two here because I put these two here, bruv. I put these two right here, bruv. Like, I'll be real with all you mans right now, bruv. I'll be real with all you man right now, bruv. But listen, yeah, AFC Wimbledon, bruv. Like, oh, the way they secured survival last season, man. That was very impressive. I can't lie, man. AFC Wimbledon, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Plow Lane next season is going to be a mad thing. It's going to be a madness right now. And they've lost Joe Pickett. Listen, yeah, they they are gonna they're gonna move mad. They're gonna move mad, especially when it comes to um um home games. They're going to move mad, bruv. I can't. Nah, yeah. Thus. And Bolton Wanderers, bruv. It's not going to be a relegation scrap like last time. No, level playing field <laughs> and they'll be level as well on, on the field as well um, definitely Bolton could probably try and target the playoffs as well but back to back promotions I mean you could get it in this league you could get it but having said that um, Bolton um, they do need some solidarity as here they do also need some solidarity so yeah man a top off finish will do I can't lie man definitely and Burton Albion Burton Albion they literally went from a relegated threatened team into a playoff team bruv what in, into a, a comfortable team listen I know they'll I know them man will want to aim here or here or here like Jimmy Floyd Hazelbank yeah but listen this is a different kind of playground bruv and for me personally league one's kind of different because a lot of teams are actually spending in this league and to be fair, it's, it's not going to be like a little walkover thing. You know, it's not going to be a little mad thing, yeah. Especially when this league wasn't really as strong as it is. Now this league is even strong, bruv. Like, it's, it's an absolute mad to see the, the caliber of teams in this league right now. But you have to understand, the championship's getting stronger. The Premier League's getting stronger. And now League One is going to get stronger, bruv. Like, it's absolutely mad. But yeah, I can't lie, yeah. Burton, they're definitely going to remain there. Cambridge relegated, unfortunately, bruv. Listen, Mullen, oh man, listen, I can't believe man went to Wrexham, bruv. 
Man literally dropped two divisions to go to Wrexham, bruv. Oh, no. I can't believe it, bruv. Listen, Wesley Houlihan's going to be creating a lot of chances. But I'll be real, fam. I'll be real. Who's going to finish these chances, bruv? Like, oh, man, listen. Oh, it's a big shame that he left, bruv. It's a big shame that he left. Because I would be interested to see how many goals he would even score in this league, bruv. Manco. Ay, ay, ay. Listen, to me, Charlton, it might be a bold pick, putting them in the playoffs, but Nigel Adkins anyway. It's it's Nigel Adkins. It's Nigel flipping Adkins, yeah. Man's got an experience of getting out of league one with Charlton, bruv. So obviously, man, you man will have to understand why he is here, bruv. And that is why he's here, bruv. You man understand, man got promoted with um, Skunthorpe, bruv. And Southampton, so understand why. Understand why. Understand why Charlton are in these players. I'm putting Charlton in these players. And I mean, the most consistent League One team has got their chance. And I think they will take it. They will just survive. Michael Duff sticking with the players that got them promoted. Cheltenham's key resource will be, you know, defence structure. Um, yeah. Cheltenham, defensive structure is going to serve very important when it comes to it. Defence first mentality. Defence first mentality. Trust me. Um, crew as well I feel like they'll probably go around here but purely because of the talent they have lost as well but I've, I'm sure they got a few more kids willing to slap it up bruv willing to slap it up whenever they go bruv and earn move, move, move money moves bruv because that's what they do bruv that's the that's the, um, the memo of um, crew bruv listen play these kids yeah sell these kids yeah that's the that's the memo of crew bruv listen um and yeah, so I, I respect that. I respect that, bruv, as well. Them, them man got top half, bruv. But yeah, listen, I think it will be... I think the teams are definitely getting stronger, bruv. I'll be real. A lot of teams are getting spending money as well. So yeah, I'll be real. I'll be real. Um, Yeah, Doncaster. Now, with Doncaster as well, it's absolutely unbelievable Um, how Doncaster fell when Darren Moore went to Sheffield Wednesday, bruv. Um... So yeah, Richie Wellens. So he's got. I don't think they'll trouble here, but I think Don Donny will probably be around here, bro. I like, I'll be real, man. It's not. It's not even gonna be any playoff flirtation, bro. Like listen, like, if I see like listen, if they have a playoff flirtation, my brother the Wellens, bro. Now I appreciate that. But listen, with Coppin on not in the girl club anymore, and and the loads as well, and they've got a lot rely a lot less on loads. Then um yeah um, I feel like it'll come to that. Fleetwood Town, bruv, I feel like they're going to be around, like, I feel like they're probably going to be, like, around here, bruv, like, I'll be real, like, I'll be real, man, I'll be real, um, Fleetwood, I don't really expect them, bruv, I feel like they're cutting their cloths due to the, to the COVID as well, bruv, uh, you know, I don't know, Simon Grayson, I don't really expect his side to be a pushover, bruv, like, I'll be real, bruv, um, this is going to be a big battle for these damn man there, bruv, really big battle, like that's what it's gonna have to become as well, man. So yeah. Um with the Jills as well, I feel like they'll definitely be around here because they they are a team that punches above their weight and I've said that. I've said that so many times, bruv. Like yeah. They're good enough to avoid the drop back to B two, yeah. But they're good they're good enough. They're good enough. They're good enough still, I can't lie. They're good enough still. Steve Evans, he, he's a good enough um but manager. So um yeah, man, man, man will have to appreciate what he brings to the table, bruv. Listen, Ipswich, they are the all-star team right now. Them man should be going back to the championship, bruv. I, like, I'll be real, the money, the money that has been spent, and it looks like it's been spent well. You know, Paul Cook as well. Paul Cook, Ipswich new owners, bruv. Listen, Scott Fraser, Joel Piggott, bruv. I don't know if this team will gel, bruv. I'll be real. 
I, I've seen, remember I've seen Bolton like in 19th year, but that man just absolutely just shot up the table and got promoted, but listen, um, I wouldn't be surprised if like this um, it switch will get promoted, but whether Paul, whether Paul could, can do it with Lee Richardson or not, you might have to remember, bruv, he's at Wigan Athletic, so when Ipswich and Wigan meet, it's going to be a very interesting fight. Like, that's what I say, bruv. That is literally what I say, bruv. Yeah. Yeah, man, so... Mm. Mm. Lincoln City, bruv. Now, I'll be kidding me if if them man dead. You know, they, they should... They should be, bruv. But Michael Appleton, bruv, he is a very, 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 very good manager, bruv. It's a shame that he's got testicular cancer, bruv. But listen, he's a very good manager anyway, bruv. That Daniel Lulundulu, I feel like he could step up, bruv, get some first-team football, slap it up in this league, bruv. Chris Maguire as well. Um, even signed from, um, signed, you know, signed from um, Sunderland as well. His last club at Sunderland. So, you know what, Chris Maguire... So yeah, he's another one. He's another one. I can't lie, another one. And he's also managed. He's also been managed at Appleton at Portsmouth and Oxford. So yeah, he definitely likes to be managed under Appleton. So it could spell some success as well, man. So yeah, man, like man, like. Listen, M K Mill M K Dons, bro. Oh man, why am I calling these man Dons? I just just call them M K. But listen, yeah, M K, yeah. They are pr- they are going to be a little mad mad thing. They're gonna be a little mad thing in this um league as well, especially whether they can get playoffs or whether they can push for it. Because let's be, I'll be real, there's gonna be a lot of teams fighting out for these players, but I'll be real, yeah, I'll be real, yeah. There's gonna be a lot of teams fighting for playoffs in 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 this league, especially. But when I mean five nil getting slapped five nil by Bournemouth does not help. But you had to understand. You had to understand, bruv. Dean Lewington, bruv. Dean Lewington. That, he, he's probably like a legend. What, a legend for that man there, bruv? And what do you... I mean, listen. As we know, if football players, yeah, I, I don't know what it is with all these football players or recognised football players, yeah. Listen, it could go two ways for him, yeah. He either only lasts six months in that job, yeah, or he's going to promo- he's gonna get these men promoted. That's what he's literally... Going to be doing, man. That's that's how it is, man. That's how it is. So yeah, man. Like Mo Isa, yeah. That that's that's a weapon. That is a weapon. I mean, he the weapon wasn't really used effectively at Peterborough, but yeah. Listen, um, yeah. <laughs> Josh Martin as well is another weapon as well. If they use him, bruv, just think about it. Yeah, you could use him, bruv. Troy Parrott, yeah. Listen, um, if he does his tig as well, yeah, I, they could. Definitely do bits as well, bruv. Like, I'll, I'll be real. I'll be real, man. I'll be real. And we've got Morecambe, bruv. To be fair, I don't really expect them to do anything. But if they stay up, mad ting. Mad ting of the century, bruv, if they stay up, yeah. But I don't really see it, man. I'll be real. I don't really see it. Um, Yeah. That's Morecambe. I feel like it'll definitely be a team that's that plays on the cautious approach. You know how the cautious approach is. I'm not going to say how the cautious approach is, but I will say how the cautious approach is. So yeah, man. Oxford, 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 Oxford United. Yeah, Oxford, top half. Carl Robertson, brand football, very good attacking football. You know, I feel like. Defensively, they haven't really got that. I mean, defensively, I look at the Oxford squad defensively, they haven't really got that depth. So if they run into some injury crisis here, this is, this is what makes breaks teams or, or or makes teams get into those players' positions, man. That's how it is, man. So, um, yeah, Oxford, yeah, they're another team. Oh, I definitely see this team. To kind of slip it down the table as well. I wouldn't even be surprised if they get relegated again, bruv. Like I'll be real. Um, as well, um, with with Ryan Lau, Ryan Lau, he he needs to go. He needs to wipe the slate clean, bruv. Because honestly, the second after the last season, bruv, it was absolutely awful, bruv. You get me? 
they were absolutely awful i'm telling you guys absolutely awful man i'll be real i'll be real and they don't and they are oh, listen and listen they they have got, got a tough start against rotherham away bruv they were a tough start against rotherham away them man need points and listen plymouth are playing teams around them so they need points asap otherwise it's going to be long for ryan and Lau, bruv I, i'm being deadly serious but yeah as long as luke jep got scoring bruv then yeah you're probably gonna have to rely on him i'll be real Portsmouth, bruv. I don't expect them to get playoffs, bruv. Not with the way the rivals are spending. Not with that way, bruv. Impossible. But yeah, this is a long-term project, bruv. Long-term project. <coughs> I expect another season of um, playoff flirtation, but unfortunately not getting in. And um, yeah, that's Portsmouth for ya. Yeah. Paul Warren, bruv. Rotherham and playoffs, bruv. That's where I put Rotherham. Rotherham and playoffs. That's where I'm putting them, man. That like, It is what it is. It is what it is with these guys. It is what it is with these guys, man. Like, Paul Warren, bruv. I feel like... I mean, there may be... I mean, there may be better teams out there or much fancy teams. I know we've got Sunderland... Wigan to come, Sheffield Wednesday to come. I know that, but this yo yo team, yeah, there is nobody better equipped than Rotherham to do it. If anybody knows how to get out of this league, if anybody knows how to get out of the league, it's Rotherham and Paul One, and that is simple. That is simplistic, bruv. Sheffield Wednesday now I understand this I really should be putting these man playoffs bruv like I'll be real I definitely should be play, placing them in there bruv but I'll be real with all you man the last time Sheffield Wednesday was in this league yeah they they struggled as well man like I'll be real and this was the time when um Sh Crystal Palace relegated Sheffield Wednesday bruv so yeah and Sheffield Wednesday struggled for a season after that bruv so yeah I feel like the same thing could happen well it won't happen, but I feel like Sheffield Wednesday would definitely be strong enough to get in the top half anyway. So yeah, Shrewsbury relegation. I don't really have anything to say about them, bruv. I feel like they'll just drop, bruv. I'll be real. Um, Sunderland. Here's the thing as well. I don't know if they've got enough to actually, literally get in the playoffs as well. I don't know if they've got enough to actually win it. My issue with Sunderland is the squad is thin right now. But they have got rid of the Deadwood. So yeah, Lee Johnson has more, should have more wage to work with. And, you know, they they need signings to support um, Aidan McGeady. So yeah, have they got that as well? I mean, can Will Grigg, you know, find his League One form, bro? Prime Will Grigg, yeah, listen... Will Griggs on fire. Listen, man needs to be singing all of that, bruv. You get me? But yeah, Alex Pritchard. Man's definitely got a stat side in there as well, man. Corey Evans. That's another side in. You know. So Lee Johnson has been making the signings as well. So, um, yeah, still got leading reach there. Still got, um, you know. I feel like I just need a bit more from Sunderland, if you ask me, if they want to get back to the championship. And Wigan are back from the brink here. And I feel like this is probably going to be another team. I don't know if they've got the capability to get into the playoffs like that. I don't think, I don't know if they've got the capability to get into the playoffs. But what I will say, what I will say is this, yeah. With um what I will say is this. Liam Richardson's doing his thing, yeah, and I I, I understand that. To be Charlie White, that's a statement signing by Wigan. V v that's a statement. They they've let a statement out, bruv. Tom Naylor, that's another statement, bruv. Um, Jack Watmore, that is huge statements, bruv. That is huge statements. Um, so yeah, man. Man like man like Lee Richardson is definitely doing the ticket. And of course, bruv. Um, to to be fair, to be fair, man. 
Like, honestly, I, I think Rotherham could actually win this league, bruv. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But I feel like the Millers are just always, like, up there, bruv. Like, it's just me because I don't want to really, like, go in to, like, with all these um squads and just stuff like that, bruv. But um, to me personally, like, it could... It could happen, bruv. It could happen for Wigan. I mean, Wickham. It could happen. If I put Wickham out here, bruv, that's what the fans will be expecting, bruv. Like, how they cope without Uche, Ikipazu, Fred Onidima as well. Sam Vokes need to we discuss the four after, after, you know, Sam Vokes, then relying on Vokes as well. I can find why that's his last season as well, man. Would be nice if I could fail got another promotion, bruv. But I'm like, I can fail one. Yes, bam. Come on. Like, hey. <laughs> but nah, listen, 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 listen. Um, I can't lie, man. But yeah, I can't lie, man. Um, But yeah, I can't lie. This is I'm just moving the teams around, bruv. You know me, bruv. But listen, this is where I think everyone will finish, man. Like, I'll be real, man. I'll be real. This has been a solid prediction, bruv. I've probably botched on a few teams, but yeah, man. This this is my prediction in it. So yeah, in it. So yeah, safe in it.